It is a new day. One my GoPro end up uh, being on 5%. We end up forgetting about it and leaving, going home. We end up sleeping for a bit. And then we went to Golden Corral. And then we came home and we went to sleep, child. We did not get to go to the Rich Homie Kwan concert that was free. It was kind of sad, but I know for a fact we wouldn't have made it. Like, we wouldn't have made it. Especially me, um, the night before, I ended up driving back home, getting the water case for the GoPro because I really wanted to make sure that I got footage this time. I believe we got really good footage because we were all by the fish. The fish loved us. The, the stingrays kept coming up to us. You seen that I got petrified <laughs> by the giant Nemo <laughs> um, stingray. Um, that thing was just following me, okay? And they were really friendly. Yeah. <laughs> and then you seen we did get some food. Uh, by the way, if you are going to Discovery Cove for the first time, it does close at 3.30 for food. We did not know that at the time, um, but it did close at 3.30. Also, one thing I didn't catch on camera was raspberry sherbet pina colada yeah. yeah that was my favorite and then finding that at the last minute which i'm sad about because i would have been having that the whole time 
So the two bartenders I recommend, number one would be Margarita. Margarita okay. would be number one. She is dope if you can find her. Uh, if you don't see her, ask around if she's here, whatever, yeah. And the one that we had this time was Danielle. Um, I don't think she is good of a bartender as Margarita, but she's still pretty good. Any more pro tips? Okay, so water shoes for sure, because you will be walking in a lot of sand. I would recommend that you use the lockers that's near the stingray area. Um, that locker area is not busy. If you are cold by nature and you're planning on getting into the reef, suit up. Because for me, I'm, I'm anemic as well as cold natured and I use the uh, long sleeve. Do the Stingray Reef first suit up with the full length, get your reef out the way, and then you can always go back, take that one off, and get a warmer suit for the Lazy River and other areas like that. So, just warning you, it is really cold. The reef area is the coldest. Because it has all the fish. And then the other areas are like pool water, is what they said. <laughs> to me, yeah. personally, the dolphins, don't seem as worth it here. Now, I didn't pay a bunch of attention to the lessons on how they do stuff and rotate, so take my advice with a grain of salt. But as far as riding the dolphins, the part that I seen, it was like here to there. Like, it was not long. I don't know if it's different per trainer, but when I seen the people riding the dolphins, it was like, like that it was gone in like two seconds like they were done and for me the amount of money that you would pay unless you find a free upgrade with the dolphins which is rare but they do have it every blue moon um get that then it'll be even more worth it for the experience but um discover clove is closed at five o'clock uh tip they do not let you leave with alcohol that lady in the wheelchair was about to run over our toes about <laughs> not walking out with the alcohol so get your last drinks enjoy enjoy your last snacks or whatever they do offer snacks and all that till five but most likely it won't be there uh, because they are trying to shut down child um but i think that's really it with all the pro tips we had a good time we stayed the whole time it did not rain mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, I think that's really it. Now we're about to start day three. We're about to do an old, a old event right now. I uh, know. Yeah, we'll talk about that in the next video. We are um, filming our day three of the birthday trip, so that's why we are dressed up, because we're getting ready to go. So stay tuned for that video. We definitely love you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>